Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship reading for you Taurus. I hope you're okay. I hope you're fine. The reading for today Taurus is the next 24 hours. Love connection, love message advice for the Taurus friends out there. I hope you're doing great. Before I start, I would like to acknowledge the presence of my subscribers. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for coming back. For guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now. Please click subscribe. Please click the bell if you're interested and if you are keen. In today's reading, guys, we're going to be looking at the next 24 hours love connection advice for you. We're going to be looking at your energy, your person or the other person's energy, their blockages, their feelings. And then we will close it off with an advice and the predictive outcome or action. All right. So let's start your reading, Taurus friends. So the first two cards in here, um, Taurus, this is your overall energy. You're quite overwhelmed over the next 24 hours, okay? You're trying to solidify your decision-making, okay? Um, the Ace of Swords, this is about reconciliation. This is also about whether you're going to cut them off or you, you will stop thinking about them or you would have to speak with them, okay? But there is something of uh, decision-making time that you're trying to come up with. And I felt like for some of you, you aren't, consistent with that decision making or you're not so confident yet because it's quite overwhelming or emotional because the seven of cups this is um, a cancer scorpio and a piscean energy this is an energy of having a lot of choices uh, being confused derive the confusion that you have is based from your emotions and you're being advised or you could be doing the energy right now that before you make a decision, a solid decision making, make sure that you use your emotion and put a little bit of balance and use your head. OK, this is this two cards is telling me that your overall energy, it's about going to make a decision making, a solid decision making from a background of being confused or a bit of overly emotional. OK, so there is a caution in there. If you are upset or overly emotional, don't make an impulsive decision. Make sure that whatever you say, whatever you do, whatever you're trying to brew or cook right now in terms of doing something, make sure that you're solid. Okay, because when the Ace of Sword, when this is, you know, it's like when you put down your Ace of Sword, that is final. Whatever you say, you text, you know, it is written, it is recorded. Okay, so make sure that you are confident and you are sure and you've used the balance between your heart, your mind, and your emotion, okay? With whatever it is that you're going to decide. For some of you, this is, will I call? Will I follow up? Will I reconcile? And um, you are kind of balancing, if I call, what will I say? If I follow up, what will I say? If I forgive, if I reply, if I do this, you know, you're, you're <clears throat> excuse me, you're kind of in that moment. You're in an you're in an energy of having a solid decision making, and you're being reminded in here, Taurus, to use a balance between your heart, the emotional side, and the logical side. Okay, because too much of emotional, you will sound not good, and too much of a logical or just about the brain and the logic, it's too a bit of unfair. So you've got to have some sort of balance whenever you make judgment, decision-making, or taking an action, like considering what would they feel if I do this or if I blah, blah, blah. So there is that. So take your time because it seems to be a, a huge decision-making for some of you, Ace of Swords, or it simply is an energy of... Before you react, before you take an action, take a moment to really inhale, exhale, and, you know, be confident that this is what you want. Is this what you want? Is this the person that you want? Is this you want to do? Is this the reply that you want to receive? If not, this is what you say. Ask your mind, ask your heart. If they all, if both agree, do it. An ace of sword moment. Put down the sword final okay so there is that strong energy in you your person's energy it's different from yours they've got the nine of swords indecision making overthinking delay it's because they're stuck in their head 
I also find the Nine of Swords, this is about ego, blaming. This is um, overthinking and this is sometimes um, a self-created thoughts that's making them... Um, um, they're creating their own, I'd say, blockages. If you overthink, you're just creating blockages. If you overthink your thought, it's going to produce negativity versus plus optimism, okay? And next to that is the Ace of Cups. So your person, um, I see that this person, they have feelings for you. They have love for you, but they have doubt on showing, communicating, looking at you eye to eye. There is doubt on what they feel towards you. They feel something. There is love. There is feelings. There is emotion involved in here. There is also appreciation. But they are questioning that. They are not confident on that. And they are stuck in their head. Okay? So the delay is coming from the part of your person. There is definitely love. Okay? I am being advised to highlight that there is love. There is emotions in here. There is feelings in here. That is why before you decide, you have to take consider the feelings before you say something you are a bull you take charge you hit the wall and the wall and the wall until you break it so before you do something you say something consider love and the feelings because i think your person is doing that although they have hesitation but they are both operating in i'm considering love before i say this or i'm stuck doing this calling you texting you replying or paying attention because of something about love there's something good about taking time to be in the ace of cups and nine of swords okay so yeah i guess it's more of your person is not yet confident in terms of what they feel towards you they feel something but it's not yet clear what is that but there's definitely good emotional and good feelings in here that I get from your person, okay? Maybe they overthink too much. Maybe there are some person that is affecting their decision making. Or maybe this nine of swords, this is this could be the thoughts, the um, you know, the things that you said each other, the things that you said with each other, uh, the things that you do with each other, the the hurt and the pain that you do with each other. The disappointment, the disappointment that you do with each other, it is causing them to doubt the Ace of Cups or the love or the feelings they have for you. But they've got an Ace of Cups. Remember that, okay? So you are ready, okay? It seems to be you're going to get some sort of final appeal, okay? There is an appeal. Uh, your person might not be as ready as yours, but if there is a delay because they're coming from love, Okay, I get that. It's a strong vibe in here that if there's a delay, it's because they're considering their feelings towards you. They don't want to just disappear or disconnect or break up. They're considering love. You are, if I look at your energy, you're about logic. That's why you're being asked to put a little bit of emotions, like to put to pull together your emotions. Your person, they're strong. Like, ooh, look at your card. Your person is unable to decide, stuck in their head because they're considering love. You are a, you are the, the opposite, okay? You are, you're all about logic. You know, you're not relying your intuition or your decision making or your thinking through your emotions. Your person is about emotions. You're about logic, okay? So, yeah. So that's you and your person and the predictive outcome and advice, the mutual energy, the sun card. You want to be reunited and so are they. If you choose love, then you should forget, you should forgive, and you should remove ego. Simple, okay? Because they want the same thing. But when it comes to you and their energy, you're more advanced. You're pretty much ready to decide your person is still in the Eight of Swords, okay? So I see a renewal. I see in this an urge to call or to text or to be around each other again. Um, there's definitely a lot of feelings with you, but you're op operating, Taurus, a bit on your head or stubbornness versus your person. You're quite strong in here, Taurus, versus your person. So be true to yourself. If you're going to choose love, forget and forgive. 
if you're not gonna love, if you're not prepared to accept this person, then be, you know, give the Ace of Swords, the honest truth about I'm not prepared to forgive you or forget what you did. I'm willing to move on. So that is still love, love and respect that, you know, you're being honest on, on the boundaries that you're setting towards your person. Um, over the next 24 hours, that's it. There's a mutual energy to reconcile, to connect, to reconnect, or to talk. There's so much love coming from your person. I felt like your person, they cannot get rid of you or they haven't forgotten you because they love you, they miss you, but they cannot move forward because they're hurt, okay? In the immediate future, um, they will come back, okay? You and them would still come back. You would still have some sort of unfinished um it's so hard to detach especially you've got the lover's card in the five of pentacles honestly taurus what i get from this energy from the lover's card and five of pentacles you need to really be honest with yourself because you're going to regret it if you let go if you cut them off and if you have a strong feeling with them it's more of if you feel like this is your soulmate and you're choosing ego pride then you're going to regret it. But if you are cutting them off, ignoring them, not replying with them, and you're doing that because of just pure self-respect or boundary, then this lover cards, you know, whoever left behind, it will come back. If you have made the fruit of the labor of honest, pure, it always comes back. But what I see with you and your person over the next 24 hours is that there is love Okay, if there is love, there is kindness and forgiveness. And that's what you need to remember before anything else, before you, be, be, before you put your foot in, in the brake and say, go away, blah, blah, blah. Remember your feelings. Can you actually do what you say? Because right now you could be upset and you said that things. And then over the period of times, that upsetness, that, that, that pain, that issue, it subsides. And then you realize that this is my lover. Because what I get in your reading today, Taurus, is that you've got a strong love with your person, but you don't realize it's because you're op you're operating in the mind. Your your person, if there's a delay, they're operating in their emotions. They can't they cannot get rid of you or they cannot reply right away because they're in pain. But it doesn't mean that that they are forgetting you. Okay, I get that your person is possibly upset or ignoring you. Or not paying attention with you because there is a disappointment or an upset or a failure in here um, that they will recover in this and they will be able to show you the lover's card they will even miss you okay you are different your your energy in here is ace of swords no i'm cutting you all shut up something like that so you know there is love in here the the, the way i see this is that you have love in you, but the mind, the logic is very strong. So if you are a Taurus that you really decided to cut this off or ignore them, I don't know how long it is. And you feel like that's, that's just that energy is coming from self-respect and boundary. Go ahead. But if you're cutting this, cutting this off, blocking them, ignoring them, and you're coming from a place of hate or spite, you would regret it because I see a strong soulmate connection, okay? So the decision is going to be yours, okay? But I'm telling you, your person, they have love, they have feelings. Sometimes they overthink, sometimes they off operate in spite, in blah, 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 in something low vibe, but they will recover in this and they will even miss you and they would want to see you again and unconditional love is here. There is love. That's all I can get from this reading is there is love. You have some hesitation. Your person's hesitation is not about you. It's about because they're upset. That's why they're hesitating to show love. But that upset, the negative energy, the low vibe energy, they will recover. And the lover's energy, the ace of cups will win again. You're different. Your ace of swords, no. Yes or no. Emotions are fluid. That's what I get. Okay. So this is your reading. Um, it's kind of different, unique reading for you, Taurus. Okay. And um, I hope you like it. I hope this grim grims. <laughs> this brings you some sort of clarity and courage and softness. Okay. Thank you, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.